I mean, guys, I don't know why we bother watching this. Like, we know we're going to end up in Group A or B. It always happens. Like, here we go. I mean, I told you it would happen. To be fair, I don't mind it this time around. I'm prepared for it. Smash the group. Club World Cup, we're coming for you. Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 77 of the New Zealand Building Nation here on Sean Does FM with Cashmere to Go and sometimes the always but come out day we're focusing on Cashmere to Go going in to the year of 2032 we're going to start things off with the OFC Champions League group phase of course this is year I'm pretty sure we need to win this competition to make sure we go to the FIFA Club World Cup in 2033 so if you're looking forward to that coming up in today's episode then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated, but we've gone forward a couple of months off the back of yesterday's episode where we played the grand final of the National League Championship in New Zealand, and also we took on Ukraine with the All Whites. So if you missed that one, I'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner. Of course, going into a new season, we have done some transfers going into this new one, albeit not as many as we have done in previous years, partly because I was a bit behind this week in terms of the series. You've kind of got drunk Sean tonight, so hopefully he doesn't make too many mistakes. Otherwise, editing Sean might be in for a heck of a time. I pity the fool. We're going to have a quick look at our transfers that we have done going to this new season, but to be fair, shouldn't take us too long before we get stuck into this first game of the OFC Champions League. And to be fair, it's a pretty animal-based group in terms of the OFC Champions League this year, but we'll get that shortly. First up time for some transfers. And this is what we have done. As you can see, we haven't actually done too much in terms of both sides since we have come in to the new year. Three players who have left us and three players who have come in. The most noble of names who have left us is unfortunately Dirty Radom. These days he was third choice in terms of the deep line playmaker, also a foreigner. Sam Clark coming through. We'll need to start for us in the domestic competitions in this upcoming season. So we did sell Dirty Radom to Almagro, who I believe are back in his homeland of Argentina. Indeed, that is the case for £4,000 to get rid of a little bit of wage budget. Off of the books, but unfortunately, no more deadbeat dad here at Cashmere Technical Duty Radom has gone back to Argentina. That was one sale that we did make seeing as I felt like that was an area we were pretty deep in, but in terms of the incomings that we have made, a new first choice strikers, of course. Alex Moore is not returning here this season. Our loney from Arsenal from last year, Manny Lowe comes in instead. He's a player around fifth choice in terms of the New Zealand national team, formerly of Bromley and of Morecambe. The Prawns, I believe, is the nickname of that team. Indeed, it is. I've seen that on FIFA before. Don't judge me, but Matty Lowe has joined us on a free transfer, and he's a bit better than Mohamed Al-Ghazali. I say a bit better, a lot better. He'll be our starting striker going into this new season. So Matty Lowe, he joins us as the first choice striker. Also coming in, we do have a backup wing back and Ahmed al Qatani. He is a Saudi Arabian who can play all across the defence, and being under 20 years old, that could be quite useful using him instead of someone like Conor Kerwin, seeing as Conor Kerwin these days is no longer the age of under 20. So it does mean a bit better of a bench option there in terms of being able to take someone off and replace them and keeping with our under 20 requirement in the domestic league. And the other transfer that we did make was an under 20 player make sure we kept up with that quota in the domestic league. That was Kevin Mina. He's from Ecuador. There's a few caps there for the under-20s. He's pretty similar to Christian Benitez, but being under-20 and Christian Benitez this year is not. He will get the start on that left wing. So to be fair, a very quiet transfer window for us here at Cashmere Technical, but hopefully that will set us up for a successful campaign, especially in this upcoming OFC Champions League, as I said, very important because I'm pretty sure this is the year, even though it doesn't say in game it is, that we need to win this competition to make sure we make our way to the FIFA Club World Cup next year. Otherwise, 
I'll be pretty dirty that we won it back in 2029 and didn't go to the FIFA Club World Cup because, of course, Western Suburbs did. They won it the year that we first joined here at Kashmir Technical, but not too much change in terms of our squad going in to the season. Here's the first choice 11 going in to the season when we're not restricted with under 20 players. And as you can see, only two changes, Kevin Mina at left wing and Matty Lowe up front. Otherwise, pretty much the same outfit we had here last season at Kashmir Technical, apart from the fact Alex Moore is no longer here. And of course, Sam Clark, the backup to Jao Texera with no duty Ray Dom, seeing as we have sold him. But to be fair, Sam Clark, usually in domestic games, he would probably start instead of Texera, but that's our only change to what we'd do in the National League. Hopefully a nice stable squad for us going in to this new season. Let's see how things do get on. We're still the hot favourites for all competitions in New Zealand. Once I click on the right button, we should really be picking this up. Just one player in the Dream 11, not from us, Tim Anderson at Western Suburbs. We start things off this season with the OFC Champions League. And as I said, pretty animal themed group. It does actually make up for the fact we're in Group A. Yet again, don't even know why we bother with the Champions League draw. We always end up in the first group. But first up, we're going to take on Bar from Fiji. They travel to the GMP. Hopefully, can go to the Canberra High Country, get some sights of some sheep seeing as they're called Bar. But also, we've got AS Dragon from Tahiti and Royal Puma from American Samoa. So it's a very animal themed group for us this year at Kashmir Technical. Hopefully, we'll breeze through this nicely. And this can be a pretty short, sharp episode, especially. Because as I said, you've got drunk Sean tonight, but we'll see how things do get on. But with a pre-settled squad from last season, I'm hoping especially with a little bit of a pre-season as well, albeit at this stage only one week, we'll be pretty well set here to make our way through this group nice and comfortably. And first up, we do take on Bar from Fiji. It's the Sheep team from Fiji. They were predicted to finish first in their league this season. To be fair, it's the early stages over in Fiji. They are up there, so I don't think we can read too much into that, but they're only a one-and-a-half-star reputation club. You'd like to think we can get the job done over them. Hopefully, that's the only game we need to show you guys today. Off the back of that, we take on AS Dragon from Tahiti, only a one-star reputation club, and also we've got the Royal Pumas, and they are a half-star reputation. So it looks like a pretty weak group for us this year at Cashman Technical in the OFC Champions League, really. The big thing that might come out of today's episode is we make our way through to the draw for the quarterfinals and the semifinals to see when we're going to take on Auckland City, if it will be in the semis or if it will be in the final. As I've said previously, I think I'd rather prefer to play the New Zealand teams in the semis over two legs instead of a one-off game. But hopefully with our first choice 11, we're going to make a good start here to this new season. And we'll come back shortly from the GMP and take on the Sheep men from Fiji and Bar. And here are the team sheets for our first game of the OFC Champions League in 2032. There are, bar in case there's any fans out there, of the Sheep Men, they are going with a 4 3 3. In terms of us, as I said, just two changes from our best 11 from last season. Mina out left, and also we've got Manny Low up front. Should be getting off here to a good start at the GMP. And it's only taken five minutes here for the first highlight of this game. There was a clearance there from Bar, but thankfully we tie things up at the back there through Oli McGoldrick these days. He is very, very close to an all-whites call-up. It will depend if there's injuries going in to the next international window. But early stages of chance there for Riley Rogers. Hits down on the volley, but unfortunately, that one does come off the woodwork bar there. Try and do something on the counter-attack. Thankfully, doesn't amount to much. And shortly off the back of that, Mina, one of our new signings, with a chance here from a free kick. We'll see how this gets on. That one gets blocked by the wall. But then a chance there, I think that was... For someone out left, I say I think it was, didn't actually spot who the name was there. But unfortunately, that shot gets blocked and also goes well wide. Still nil all, but certainly on the front foot early in this game. Janssen with a block shot this time. Gets it past the goalkeeper the year. Four bar. And we take a 1-0 lead just inside of the 10-minute marks off the back of a few highlights. Where we were well and truly on the front foot eventually. We do get a goal the year for the Australian. And Lorenzo Johnson, good block there from the defender, but unfortunately for him, falls back to Johnson, can put that one away, ball in left corner, and we take an early 1-0 lead. 
And only a few minutes on from that opening goal, you didn't hear we are on the attack. Riley Rogers starts to cut inside from his right hand side, but eventually plays that one back to Oli McGoldrick. Now it goes forward to the lone all white these days in this Cashmere Tech team. And Louis Evans forward to Rogers. Good work there from Matty Lowe. Loses the ball for a tackle, but it falls back there to Lorenzo Johnson. And early stages already. He is on the hat trick, gets that one past the uh, Rocco Vu cake in goal for Bar. Not too sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but Rocco Vu Kaki or Rocco Vu cake. Not too sure. I think I'll go with cake because that's more funny. But good goal there from Lorenzo Johnson. Matty Low there with some good hold up play up front. That makes it 2 0 coming up to the 15 minute mark. And in fact, before I can wrap things up, another highlight for us here with a thrown inside of the Sheep Men's Half. We play it one forward, two tech zero. Matty Low on the ball plays that one out right to Rogers, albeit it's a bit of a deep ball. It does find him though in some space, but went over the top. It is cleared there with a punch. From the goalkeeper now it falls back to Rogers a long range effort it's a worm burner but finds its way into the back of the net that makes it 3-0 at the 15 minute mark and thankfully looks like the gay impress gonna work a bit better for us here in the OFC Champions League than it did in the late stages of the National League last season all over bar early stages 3-0 up at the 15 minute mark and a little bit of break since the last highlight in this game now halfway through the first half at a free kick here inside of the bar half. We knock it about short here. Tech Sierra plays that one back to Oli McGoldrick. Goes out there to Smith, who did have that chance earlier off the back of that free kick, which was blocked off of Mina. Poor clearance there from Razul. And Lorenzo Janssen will pick up a hat trick off the back of an assist from an opposition player. I'm pretty sure commentary there is blaming the wrong player for that goal being considered, considering one of the own players. Did just help that one be an assist for Lorenzo Johnson, but Rizal there, absolute shocker. Not too sure why they're blaming the wrong player there, but 4-0 up halfway through the first half. And just a bit make our way into the last five minutes of this first half, a free kick for us here. Been a little while since we had the last highlight in this game. It was decent. Mina had a long-range free kick, but unfortunately couldn't quite hit the target. He goes down there, no penalty, but Smith will pick things back up for us. Squares that one nicely for me, low and to be fair. It's a decent save there from the bar goalkeeper. And off the back of that, we can't quite keep the ball and play. Good tackle there. Good defensive work from bar. We now start to make our way into two minutes of added time. Late highlight here in the first half. We try and make our way out from the back, starting with Costarella and goal. Start to make our way forward here. Down our right-hand side, Riley Rogers plays that one back to Tech Zero. Now Xavier Smith out left starts to play that one forward to Kevin Mina, one of our new boys here. At Cashmere Technical will be at this highlight. You know, just taking our time here, making our way out from back. But so far, been a pretty good first half. Hopefully, this is a sign. Going to cruise through this part of the Champions League. Now, Mina does get in behind. He goes down there off what looked like a pretty good tackle from Prasad. But it's given as a penalty and a chance here from the penalty spot. We'll see who takes this one. That's Lorenzo Janssen. Thankfully, looking a bit more reliable than he did late last season in that Chatham Cup quarterfinal against Western Suburbs. Still haven't quite got over that one, but that makes it 5 0, just shy of half time. And it should mean we can take off some players at half time, give some rotation players some game time, seeing as they probably need it going into the remainder of the season. But early stages, this is looking like the group stages of the Champions League might be a bit easy for us here at Cashmere Technical. So because of that, you're going to make some subs here at halftime. Both our centre backs on average ratings. And Lorenzo Janssen, four goals in that first half. So I think we can probably give him a rest first up. We'll bring on Isaac Hughes for Oli McGoldrick. As I said, Janssen probably deserves a rest having got four goals. Coming on for him will be young Jamie Young. That's one of our other under-20 players here this season at Cashman Technical. And also... Might not be the worst idea to give George Osipic a rest. Coming on for him will be Courtney Perkins, but pretty happy with that first half. Looks like going to do quite well in the group stages of the Champions League yet again. 5 0 up at half time. And it's taken just over 10 minutes, but eventually get the first highlight here of the second half. So far, the only shot in this half has actually been in favour of Bar, but there is a throw in here in our favour. We try and find the uh, Mina at the far post. It goes back out there to Matty Low. A big deflection on that shot, but he'll pick up. His first goal for the club that will surely wrap this game up now at 6-0. Matty Lowe 
the former Englishman in terms of his development so far. We'll put that one away. To be fair, that was a shot from Smith. Big deflection, somehow Melo gets a header on the end of that one to put us sixth in one front. And only a few minutes off back of that first goal at the club for Melo. Now it's a free kick here in our favour again, looking for him there at that far post. Unfortunately, they're going to win that one through Prasad, and he's actually found himself in a ton of space. Not too sure how that's happened, especially because I've just redone the set pieces going into this new season. Maybe a chance here for Barr to grab a goal back. Can they make all the sheep here in New Zealand happy? They nearly do. Good chance there, unfortunately. That one for them comes off the woodwork. So they do still remain 6-0 behind. And just about to make our way into the last 20 minutes of this game, it's time for us here to make a couple more substitutions, a couple of players out there. I think we can take off with the situation like it is. Going to be winning this game. Going to bring on players here who I think are in need of game time. First up, we'll bring on Marcus Vinicius for Louis Evans. He can be quite tired and also does like a yellow card. So probably a safe idea to take him off. And also, we should probably bring on here an under-20 player, Sam Clark, a good idea, I think, here for Texera, seeing as he'll be staying for us in the National League this upcoming season. That's all our subs used. 20 minutes left, 6-0 in front. And unfortunately, for the back of all those subs that we did make going into that second half, not much has happened in it, but to be fair, very dominant display, I think that will show that we're going to make our way through this group stage of the Champions League pretty comfortably this season. A 6-0 win, second half, not too great, but the first half, very good Lorenzo Johnson with four goals. Probably not the best idea to take him off, but to be fair, I want to save him up for some future fixtures just in case some other teams do prove a bit of a sterner test in the Champions League this season. But you'd like to think a 6 0 win there should suggest we will top this group. We'll come back shortly and see what the results are from the rest of our games. Unless we lose our next one against AS Dragon and things get a bit tricky. So a good one for us there in our first game of the OFC Champions League this season. And to be fair, you can tell by that goal differential up top there, it got even better on the games that we played off the back of that because Bar ended up being the second qualifier from our group AS Dragon. They beat Royal Puma in the other game on that match day. A few days later, Bar they beat AS Dragon and we beat Royal Puma. By 12 0. That was an absolute fresh yet again with the same team we used in that game first up. So it did mean, based on goal differential, we're pretty much already guaranteed to make our way through to the knockouts and backed it up with an 8 0 win over AS Dragon Bar. They beat Royal Puma 3 0. And to be fair, that last game, we used low rotation players, a hat trick there for both Christian Benitez and Mohamed Al Ghazali. Speaking of Christian Benitez, he might not be at the club for too much longer. Because he wants to leave the club at the end of the season. So he's under bid from the Central Coast Mariners for £28,000. Which was up near the top of his transfer value. So it does mean we go through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League as one of the top qualifiers. Just a quick look at the other groups. Group B, AS Venus from Tahiti. They win that one in Dumbia from New Caledonia. Also go through Group C, Auckland City win that one. They did concede the goal. So did a bit worse than we did, especially in terms of their goals for, but did win all three games. The Solomon Warriors from the Solomon Islands, they go through as the second qualifier from that group. And Group D, AS Magenta, they won it with seven points. And West Tribe FC from PNG, Papua New Guinea, they go through as the second qualifier. So those are the teams who are through the next round of the OFC Champions League, which we'll come back for at the start of next week. Now it's time for us to find out our path through to the final, the quarterfinals, they should be pretty simple. I'm pretty sure we can't get Auckland City in this part of the draw, having finished top of our group. The rules don't actually say that, but I'm pretty confident that will be the case. And thankfully, Auckland City do end up with Bar. We'll see if we end up here with the team that finished in behind them. And we'll take on West Tribe FC. So it's a team who finished their second in Group D, and that does mean AS Magenta, they will take on Dumbia. So the quarterfinals should be pretty safe. We take on West Tribe FC, half star reputation team from Papua New Guinea. You'd like to think that one might get done after one league. Thankfully, got international with the All Whites around that, so I think that might be the plan come the start of next week. But now it's time for us to have a look at the draw for the semi finals. I wouldn't mind Auckland City at this stage. Played them over two leagues, I think there's a better chance for us there to beat them than over one leg. 
make sure they can upset us in just the one game. First out of the hat, it's the tie with the all new Caledonian teams, AS Magenta or Dumbia. They'll take on the winner of AS Venus or the Solomon Warriors. So that means we should be in line early next week for a two legged semi final against Auckland City, because that's who we should be playing in the semi finals. That should set us up a very good chance now of making our way into the final of this Champions League and winning it. And that should set us a ticket at the FIFA Club World Cup in 2033. But that will do it for today's episode. Probably not the longest one, but the group stage of the Champions League can be a bit like that sometimes. Thankfully, we made our way through it pretty safely. And also, not many transfers going into this new season. If you enjoyed today's episode, then do remember to go down below. Leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. We'll come back at the start of next week, make our way through the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Should be pretty simple though as we take on West Tribe from Papua New Guinea with that half star reputation. But also, we'll probably show you guys a friendly coming up with the All Whites. You can see it there at the end of March before that first league. Against West Tribe, we take on Cameroon, who are ranked 24 from the world. The only team who wanted to play us around then might be similar to the Ukraine game we played yesterday. So it could be tricky for us there, but hopefully we can pick up a result there and maybe make our way back up the world rankings just a little bit from our current spot, which has slipped a little bit off the back of yesterday's episode. Now we're down to 39th, but until the start of next week, all the quarterfinals of the Champions League and that friendly for all whites versus Cameroon. Thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.